Where does the protest against police brutality go from here? Today, I had a really good frank conversation with some of the young men who protested in D.C. streets last week. They're members of the National Fraternity, Kappa Alpha Psi. This is the same fraternity that I belong to, same fraternity for Colin Kaepernick. Let's start there. Many are asking, what is owed to the former football star who sacrificed his career back in 2016 by taking a knee during the national anthem to protest the very same issue that's drawing people to the streets today? Colin yeah. Kaepernick is owed so much. The commissioner of the NFL got it wrong. He was a man that was ahead of his time. He saw what was happening in this country. He took a stand before so many others, a trailblazer. Well, the NFL owes him an apology. Uh, in Roger Goodell's speech, he never mentioned his name. And you can't give a sincere apology without mentioning the person's name that you offended in the first place. Right. Did he do the job? No, and I don't think he should take the job, honestly. Because at this point, the NFL needs Colin more than Colin needs the NFL. Right. Why haven't we heard from Colin Kaepernick, you think? He laid out his arguments and his positions on brutality that specifically black people were facing in this country, on the injustices that players were facing in the league. So what right. more is there uh, for him to say? He's made, he's made all his statements. Uh, he's called on the NFL. He's called on the government uh, to do right by people. He needs to be part, right. He needs to be in the, in the league, in the, front, in, 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 the, in the front office of the NFL, trying to create some cultural change that way as well. John Rivera, the now head coach for the Washington Redskins, he made a statement that they are doing um, some things to change um, the culture within that organization. I know they said that they will have, um, you know, Doug Williams is a, is a, is a big uh, face in that um, organization. And they're doing some things that they're working towards culturally for their players. I mean, they, had they, they should they should start with changing the name. Yeah, change the name. Yeah. Again, a number of these young men took part in the demonstrations. They, of course, were not part of the violence. They do not condone that, just the opposite. They warned that we shouldn't, though, get caught up in words like defunding the police department versus reforming the police department. Here's what they're clear about. They want a different kind of policing. You're not anti-police, though. No. I'm not anti-police. I'm not, I'm not anti-police. I'm anti the brutality. We also need to take a close look at, you know, the qualified immunity that police have where they can kill people, you know, based off of the color of their skin and not be held accountable for that. They don't go to prison. They are rarely arrested. They're rarely charged. The police, their, their mindset, their training has been to intimidate, to frighten, to scare, you know, and they do that. There's a complete double standard in how police departments interact with the community in the United States. They act one way with the white population, they act a different way with black population and other people of color. Are you guys in favor of defunding police departments or you want to reform police departments? You know, I'm for a reallocation, a redistribution of funds, you know, um, for more funds going to the community, education, you know, mental health, uh, institutions uh we've been trying to get police reform before my time i know my parents have trying to get police reform my grandparents are trying to get police reform i really want to see currently i want the police defunded and eventually disbanded because i feel like it's easier to start fresh and create a new type of law enforcement than it is to get this reform because we're not getting this reform we see a bill that says police reform then when you go through it five, six months later, maybe not even that long, we see another shooting and we're sitting here wondering, oh, why didn't the reform take care of that? We seem to be on the verge of a real opportunity for change, but then that brings us to the other piece, and that is sort of pivoting from protest to politics, because you can't get these changes we need in terms of policy without changing the people who make the policy. I spent nearly a half hour talking with the Kappa Alpha Psi brothers. I invite you to watch our full conversation. It's on our website right now, WUSA9.com. You'll find it on our homepage.